The Chosen Chapter 4 Part 1 As Philip sat at the table preparing his sermon, he was suddenly distracted by noise coming from his bedroom. At first he ignored it, thinking it was just the wind. But this sound was different from the normal creaking he would hear in the early hours of the morning. He stopped what he was doing long enough to glance over towards the bedroom. Then ignoring that noise, he focused his attention back to the sermon on Romans 10. Again, a strange creaking noise emanated from the bedroom, louder this time. He stopped writing his notes about the Apostle Paul and glanced back at the bedroom again. Is someone there? he called out. No verbal answer came, just a repeated sound of creaking. Philip put the pen down and stood up and turned towards the bedroom. As he stared towards the bedroom, he felt his pulse quickening, and his heart began to beat faster. He was afraid, afraid of who was in there. He glanced around quickly, and the only thing he had close by to defend himself was a wooden cross that hung on the wall behind him. Philip quietly pulled the cross down from the wall and walked as silently as he could towards the bedroom. Again, that sound of strange creaking emanated from that room. How merry full of grace, he whispered as he approached the doorway and peered inside the dark room. At first he didn't see anything out of the ordinary, but there was something there, breathing. He could hear shallow breathing from his bedroom. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, he whispered as he closed his eyes tight and clutched his cross. He turned and stood in the doorway and stared towards the window. There, in the light of the window, he could see a silhouette of someone. Philip fumbled for the light switch on the wall. Click. Nothing. The light failed to work. He switched it again. Nothing. Who are you? He asked, fear evident in his tone. Don't you know this is the house of God? The intruder never spoke, just stood there and breathed shallowly. Philip couldn't see the eyes of this intruder, but he knew that he was staring right at him. He could feel those eyes glaring, penetrating him. There was something about this intruder, something evil. Get out of here or I'll call the police, Philip ordered as he turned to make a dash for the phone. Screeching! A loud, ear-piercing screech filled his cottage, and before he could do anything, he was thrown against the wall with great force. Philip lay on the floor and looked up to see a man standing before him. His eyes were dark, black, and his face was pale. In the name of the Lord, was all he could shout before the intruder pointed at him, and instantly Philip was lifted in the air and thrust against the wall. What do you want? The intruder looked at him, glared, and said nothing. It was though he was measuring up this priest. Soul. Soul! The intruder finally spoke in a dark tone. Philip closed his eyes and began to silently pray. He didn't manage to pray for long as his intruder glided over to him and grabbed him with force by the throat. A man, man has, has come, come this, this hour, hour to ask, to ask you for help. help, the intruder warned. If you, if you help, help him, you will, you will die, die, and no, no God, God will save, save you. Priest. priest. With that, the intruder let him go and drifted back away as Phil fell on his knees and coughed hard, struggling for breath. I am a man of the cloth. I do the Lord's will, he retorted. The intruder snarled and glared down at him. You shall, you shall surely, surely die, die God, God boy. boy. Philip turned and fell back against the wall and watched as the intruder started to approach. Then it stopped and vanished. Philip remained sat there for some moments, regaining his senses from what happened. Then he slowly stood up and walked into the bathroom to wash his face. He didn't know what to make of what happened, but the ordeal left him questioning himself if he was being put to a test by God. As he washed his face and reflected on his intruder, he heard a car pull up outside. He went into the bedroom and flicked on the light switch. It worked. Philip walked over to the window and peered outside into the dark street. Only the street light outside the adjacent church could make anything visible in this part of the street. And he watched as the young man got out of a car and walked towards the church. Oh Lord, he whispered. Alex. It was about five when Alex arrived at the church and it was still dark out. Alex stood before the old church and stared up at the front doors. It had been a long time since he visited this church, but still the old building gave him the creeps. He wasn't sure if it was the aura of the place, or just the way it looked. In either case, he felt uneasy being there. 
Alex! He heard Philip call from a nearby window. Alex turned his attention to the cottage that was next to the church. He saw Philip standing in the window. What in the Lord name bring you here so early? Father, I need to talk. I need answers, Alex replied. Philip knew that tone and that look. He looked at Alex for a moment, then nodded. I'll be right out. Philip left the room and went to enter the church door through the back room, but was met again by his intruder. Philip froze in the hallway and gasped in fright. What do you want? he questioned. Die, Die was the only thing the intruder said in that dark tone. Philip stood and stared at the intruder who remained stood in the darkness, then faded back through the door. Philip tried to remain calm. He couldn't allow this haunting to get in the way of what he was called to do. He hurried through the door and into the church and went towards the front door. Die, he heard that intruder say again, this time from right behind him. Philip turned quickly to see the intruder's dark presence standing right in front of him. He went to scream, but his voice was silenced. In that instant, the intruder lifted him off the ground and tossed him to the foot of the large wooden cross that graced the altar. Philip looked up to see the foot of the cross dangling above his head. I am in the way. It mocked as it lunged at him with a screech. You've been listening to a chapter excerpt reading of The Chosen, the new supernatural thriller by author C.A. Milson. For more information on The Chosen, and for more information about the writer, visit the website at authorcamilson.info. Until next time, stay, stay scared. scared.